August is usually the busiest travel month of the year, but this week is even more swamped than normal. Jennifer Lukey explains how long lines that are annoying for travelers are exciting for the airport. There are fewer planes in the air, which means each flight that takes off is normally filled to capacity. Just about every seat was occupied. They have been lately, uh, the last times I've gone. It also means you may have to pay a little more than you're used to to get where you want to go, but that doesn't seem to be stopping people. Uh, the first six months of this year, we were up three out of the six months. I suspect August will be another month where we're up. We're starting to break that trend. For about four years, we saw the numbers here going down. Uh, the recession took its toll on not only our airport, but other airports and the airlines as well. We're seeing that trend start to reverse right now. Some travelers are just dealing with the increase in fares. Others are finding creative ways to get a good deal. One was $800. The next day it was $420. Round trip. I was like, wow. Yeah, we always look for the best price, but this, these are air miles for my daughter, so she booked this flight. Either way, long lines at the airport are a welcome sight for those who run it. The more passengers, the more revenue for the airport, and the more they can offer in incentives to low-cost carriers that they're hoping will come here to the Capital District and fill in some of these empty spaces. Right now, uh, Albany International Airport has about a million and a half dollars in cash on the table for a new airline to come here. We're looking for either a new airline to come in and start service here, a low fare carrier to add some competition to the airlines that we already have, or we're looking for one of our existing airlines to start a new direct flight. So far, no takers, but so long as the lines stay long, it's likely only a matter of time. We've got a jetway ready for them, we've got hold rooms ready for them, and uh, we'll have our folks install their computers in no time. In Albany, Jennifer Lukey, CBS 6 News. If you have a flight out of Albany between now and Friday, the airport suggests that you get there at least 90 minutes ahead of your departure time. All that brings us to tonight's CBS6Albany.com Talk 1300 web poll. We asked you tonight, how many times have you been on a plane this year? Here are the results at last check. Like magic, the numbers will come up. 83% said zero. They have not taken a flight this year. 14% of you say you have flown one to three times this year. 3% say you've been on a plane four to six times this year, and no one said that they fly all the time.